room 22. It's Mrs. Clark again. Moose is down here. She says hi. Moose, say hi. Okay, not to me. To the kids. Say hi to the kids. Can you say hi to the kids? Hi, kids. Yeah. He's still blind. He still can't see the camera. All right. Are you ready for chapter five? The fairy. I wonder what that's going to be like. That night we had festivities. Festivities when my grandma and grandpa come over and all of us eat cake. Grandma Helen Miller made the cake herself. She put a big smiley face on top. Only that is not all because the smiley face had a tooth missing just like me. I laughed and laughed at that silly thing and then I reached in my pocket and I got my tooth and I passed it around the table. Oh, that's a beaut, Judy B, said Grandma Miller. I know, Grandma. I know it's a beaut, I said real proud. And I can't even wait to take it to school for show and tell. The children are going to love this thing. Daddy looked strange at me. Oh, gee, I don't know, honey, he said. I'm not really sure you should take your, your tooth to school. Mother shook her head. No, Junie B, that's definitely not a good idea, she said. And besides, you won't even have your tooth on Monday, remember? You'll have to leave it for the tooth fairy tonight. Just then, my skin got chill bumps on it again, and the flutterflies came back in my stomach, because I know about the, that fairy. That's why. My voice kept kind of, felt kind of shaky. Yeah, only what if I don't want to leave my tooth for the fairy mother? What if I just want to take it to show and tell, and that's all? Mother shook her head again. No, Junie B, no show and tell, she said. Taking a tooth to show and tell, well, that's just, just disgusting, said Daddy. Yes, said Mother, disgusting. I whined at those two. No, it isn't, I said. Lots of kids bring teeth to school. Because one time, Roger brought a shark's tooth, and he even let me and Herb put it right in our mouths. And then we look like sharks, too thought some more. Plus, also, another time, Shirley brought her grandmother's dentures, and lots of, put the, lots of us put those in our mouths, too. Grandma, Grandma Miller did a little gag. Only, I don't actually know why. My grandpa patted her hand. Just be glad she doesn't want to take the spit cup, he whispered. Just then, my whole face lighted up. Because I have ears like a hawk, of course. The spit cup! The spit cup! I will take the spit cup! I hollered, and I jumped down from my chair, and I zoomed to the bathroom, and I got the spit cup out of the trash, and I dusted it off real good. Good news, people! I shouted real loud. There's still some blood around the edges! I quick ran back to show them. Grandpa Miller, Grandma Miller closed her eyes at that, sh at that sight. Then mother put her head on the table and hid her face in the arm in her arms. The festivities were over, I believe. After Grandma and Grandpa Miller left, mother took me into the bathroom and we brushed my teeth real careful. Then I took my loose tooth out of my pocket and I brushed that guy too. I held it up to the light and I said, look how shiny I made it. I really wish I could take this tooth to school, mother. I really, really wish that. Mother gave me a hug. I know you do, Junie B, but it's still going to be fun to put it under your pillow tonight, isn't it? She smiled. I remember when I was a little girl, I couldn't wait to wake up in the morning to find out how much money the tooth fairy had left me. My skin got prickly at that name again. Also, sweaty came on my head. I thought and I thought about what to do. And then finally, I stood on my tippy toes and I whispered in mother's ear, Yeah, Ollie. I know stuff about the fairy mother. I know the truth. The truth? She said, you know the truth? Yes, I whispered again. I bet you know who told her the truth about the tooth fairy. Do you know his name? I think you're right. I know the exact truth, mother, because last year Polly Allen Puffer told me the entire story. You remember Polly Allen Puffer with the Halloween stuff? Was he correct on what he thought about Halloween? 
Do you think he's going to be correct about the tooth fairy? Let's see. I took another big breath, and I cut my hands over her ears, and I talked even quieter. The fairy isn't real. The tooth fairy says pretend. Mother's eyes got big and wide at me. What? No, she said. Yes, I whispered back. Polly Allen learned it from his big brother. The tooth fairy isn't real at all. She's just a teensy little tooth witch. Mother's mouth came all the way open. A tooth witch? Shh, I said. We have to talk soft, Mother. If the tooth witch hears anyone telling her secret, she flies into the room at night and she pinches their cheeks. Really? I don't remember being pinched when I was a kid. Mother covered her face in her hands. She was in shock, I believe. Polly Allen's brother even saw the tooth witch because one night he put a tooth under his pillow and he stayed awake all night and he saw the tooth witch fly into the room on a teensy little toothbrush. Oh my, said mother. I know it's oh my, I said. And that is not even the worstest part because the tooth witch walked right under his pillow. She carried out his tooth and then she jumped it a big bite out of it, just like it was a tooth apple. Mother made a noise behind her hands. Mm. I patted her very nice. I know how you feel, I said. This is very hard to hear. Finally, Mother turned her hands away. But it doesn't really make sense, Junie B. I mean, why would a mean little witch leave money under the pillow? A witch would never do anything nice, would she? I rolled my eyes way up to the ceiling because sometimes I have to explain everything to that woman. I know you had to know how to roll your eyes. Of course she would, Mother. Don't you get it? The witch leaves money so that children think she's really a fairy. Because if children don't think there's a fairy, they won't leave her any teeth, right? And if they don't leave their teeth, the witch doesn't get any tooth apples. Mother closed her eyes very tight. Then all of a sudden she opened the bathroom door and she ran right out of the room. She was taking it harder than I thought. And chapter six is called Full of Soup. And I think Moose is about ready to go in the other room. <laughs> you're gonna say you're gonna say goodbye to the kids. Okay, that's enough. All right. Yep. <laughs> I got dog germs on me. <laughs> All right, kids. You can see your plants back here. I'll take some pictures and send them to your families too. I hope you come back for chapter six tomorrow. <laughs> Have a good time. <laughs> Get your work done. Moose, can you say bye to the kids? Yep. Don't lick them. Well, oh. <laughs> okay, bye, kids. I love you.